Hello, hi, how are you today? Ever wonder why the smartest kids on the planet are having the most mental health issues? Ever wonder why is mental health suddenly a thing even when it still carries a stigma? I'm here to explain some of it to you. And believe me, it's involved because there is a lot of history. And part of it goes to the past. What has happened in the past and how people have been treated and how fearful people can be for those who we love by being abused by, you know, poor mental health care or no care at all. So we're getting away from that. But honestly, there, the need for it supersedes what's available. I talk to a lot of people and they would love to have mental health care. There's wait lists everywhere. There's maybe insufficient stuff. They can't work with someone because they're in a different place and you have to be licensed. And then there's the insurance, right? And that's just in the United States. If you're in the UK, it's the NHS, you know, like, do we even talk about this? I want to talk to you about intelligence and your superpowers and your emotional intelligence. Now, people might think they know about emotional intelligence where they're going, hmm, I'm going to feel this situation. Emotional intelligence has to work like lightning speed, like at the speed of lover's intuition right through your body. Do you have lover's intuition? Well, you're a twin flame. If you're watching this, you're either questioning your twin flame or you're a twin flame. You're either a long timer twin flame or if you are new to this topic, welcome. Here's the reason. You're intended to not only have super intelligence and along with that super intelligence comes wit, humor, not sarcasm, not backbiting, not derogatory remarks and put downs, but genuine refreshing humor. We have humor when we're in another dimension and we're not bogged down here. We have inspiration. We have things that work right through us to resolve problems. That is why this is so important. There's a lot of problems in the world and they're not going to be fixed at the level they were created at. We're on the way up so like i look at it as we went down and you can see this throughout history of the dark ages you have the renaissance just for two examples why were those people so inspired why did they suddenly start creating works of art and inventions and things because there was a lightning in the general energy of the planet and this enabled more influx of the energy now Males got a lot of the credit for that, and there's always a strong woman behind a, you know, good male that's either his mom or his, you know, family, or it's going to be people that they're married to. Okay, now we're in a time of much more equality. It's not perfect, but there is much more equality. So what are you intended to do? What is your purpose? How are you going to be inspired? Now, here's the next thing. That intelligence has to be tempered with your emotions. You're here to be a lover and you're not here to make compromises about that. That is first and foremost, love. And from that love gets created your stuff, your things, your inspirations, your inventions, your problem solving capabilities, okay? Along with wit and humor and gentleness and compassion and forthrightness and steadfastness and honor, right? Not with all the other stuff. Like we got to leave that world behind. That is a strongly collapsing era that we were just in and it is closing. So if you're struggling and you're going, I have no idea what's happening to my life, then it's time to start joining my classes to integrate your body to get yourself up and running. So when we talk about why are the smartest kids having mental health issues, okay? First of all, the tissues in the side the head, there's some science to this. The tissues inside the head. If you're talking about young people, there's organs inside, glands, the pineal gland, the pituitary gland, the hippocampus, 
the hypothalamus and even areas here, your thyroid, your parathyroid. Many of these organs have either a masculine essence or a feminine essence, but as they merge together, they find balance. People can feel very wobbly. And there's a whole spectrum of what is termed mental health. Everything from the deep psyche, which is my specialty of healing, deep psyche stuff, phobias, attacks, things that would curl your hair. And some of these people who are having mental health issues, they don't know that this can be very easily remedied through the twin flame light body through the brand new light body. It's a brand new blueprint. It doesn't want to hold those imbalances, those illnesses. Now you still have to be able to remember, you still have to be able to emote and have your emotions. You still have to be able to have a healthy emotional spectrum. That means anger. Should that be at the depth of rage? Well, what you're seeing is that some people, if that rage is in their gut, and we kind of know this right now. It's like, oh, they've suppressed so much anger. They've burned an ulcer into their uh, gut. They have colon issues. They have bowel issues. They can't go to the bathroom. Yeah, we kind of know that by now. But how do you unlock that and how do you resolve it? That's my specialty. What if all the anger's up here? People just want to fight. They will walk around with a chip on their shoulder. They want to fight, right? And here's the thing highly intelligent people that do stupid things and you can say my god they had everything going for them but they did something stupid now i'm going to touch on a subject here that is very worrisome for people we love and families i just attended a celebration of life she had a chronic illness but somehow she died and they think it was tied in with her mental health chronic illnesses cause mental health issues Mental health issues can cause chronic illness because it's not what the person is thinking. It's the dysfunction of their connections. It's the dysfunction of the organs that regulate this. It's the dysfunction of being tied to an old paradigm that's no longer supporting it. Ever wonder why people's metabolisms go wonky? They're being unplugged. Why their finances are? They're being unplugged. Why their marriages are. Why is the divorce rate up? We're all being unplugged from that old place, but it requires plugging in at a new level. So the smartest people on the planet can sometimes be found where they've gotten in trouble because they overreacted. Now, that has actually been the topic of my most recent uh, webinar that I'm doing, where we got on the topic of like, how do you temper yourself? And I mean like temper, like look at that, you know, real meaning of it. Like, are you being like hard and steel, but without being hard? Can you still be compassionate and be strong? Are you a pushover? Are you fluffy? Are you like too wimpy? Are you walking around thinking you need all this psychic protection instead of your light body doing its job? You have a brand new light body that wants to do that job for you naturally, without a thought, without thinking like, oh my God, you can't be like, wait, hang on, sir. You can't do that. Your light body's going to do it for you very easily. Under my tutelage, with my classes where we have a lot of fun, we joke, we laugh, it's a safe space. Now, the other thing we talked about are entities, okay? These have a lot of basis in people's past lives. Chronic illness has a basis in past lives. That's my specialty, to get people out of that chronic illness. Where is your love energy being sucked out? Is it still being sucked out to that past or parallel life? It's time. It's time to get this upright, get you connected, twin flame ring connection, twin flame ring connection. Now, these may be tough topics, but what I have found when I've done the math is that when people pay attention to it and do it gradually, I've had people who have attended over a year's time and they are a transformed person actually in the first month. 
They start transforming. The transformation begins. Why? Because of that integration of their new light body. It starts taking on a momentum. If you were to compare that to one insurance deductible, I'm winning hands down. Financially, it makes sense. Emotionally, it makes sense. Who wants their kid to kill themselves? Who wants someone we love to kill themselves? Who wants someone to be yet another victim of addictions or self-deprecation? Who wants someone to be yet another victim of a bad relationship, a toxic relationship? None of us want this. It's time to start finding the way. And I have asked this before. Um, if you can't, that's fine. Don't knock it. It may seem to make sense for you. But to me, it is the solution. It is the solution that is God-given. It is brand new. And it's possible. Okay? May not have been possible 10 years ago for you, 15 years ago, 20 years ago. We're in a completely different energetic vibration that makes it possible. It makes it more conducive to make it easier and make you successful. I have had people in a session, this has actually happened twice, loaded gun in their lap trying to find a reason why they weren't going to put it to their head and kill themselves. And do you know what? It shifted by the session and it ended. And that only ended because of the session, but that impulse of like, I want to do myself in, that comes from somewhere. We've done this in past lives. We've had to kill ourselves in our entire village rather than be taken as slaves. It comes up from a deep place. So when you're wondering like why all of a sudden your kid hit puberty and they are feeling suicidal or having suicidal thoughts, please come see me, okay? I have worked with children with their parents' permission. I prim primarily work with adults. But we are thinking about doing a parent and child class. And I have another person who is also a Blu-ray Twin Flame who understands the journey. And she teaches anti-bullying, okay? She teaches self-empowerment. There's nothing more self-empowering than the integration of your own brand new twin flame body that's built for love, baby. So I hope to see you there. I'm Patricia McNeely, located in Chicago, and I hope you have a good day. Bye.